All right, well, nice and quiet for us as far as the radar is concerned. Just a little ground clutter, not seeing anything, not expecting to. But what we are seeing is a little patchy fog that's possible in some areas over north Mississippi. But we are seeing everyone nice and chilly. So to the north, feels like 20 degrees in Jonesboro, 24 in Dyersburg. It is 37 in Memphis, but feels like 32. So everywhere you can see it is nice and cold. Definitely want to bundle up if you're going out for a walk or a run, anything like that. But uh, I will tell you it will get better throughout the day. So the afternoon, not necessarily bundle up worthy. So as you see, clouds will begin to clear as we head through the afternoon. We get into the low to mid 50s. It'll feel better than it will feel all week long. So soak it up and enjoy it as we head into the evening. It does get a little bit cooler, but overall again today is relatively uneventful. So let's look at the rest of the week. Now uh, first we have a, a, a short range model. So these are the more accurate ones. So we'll take a look at that today again. This gets uh, as we head into the overnight hours. We have a 20% chance of some showers early tomorrow morning as we head through the rest of the afternoon. Not much really happening, but we do uh, have those chances that build as we head into Wednesday morning again. And you see there's a divide where we have the freezing rain from the just regular light sprinkly kind of rain as we head through the rest of Wednesday that continues but our models don't. So here's a long range model of Wednesday. You still see that divide of the freezing rain and the rain. Again, as we head into the rest of Wednesday, it gets a little bit further south and that's Thursday when we start to see that mix. And actually Thursday is our greatest chance for a little bit of everything. This model not necessarily suggesting that, but what it does suggest is that happening on Saturday. And uh, I think this is overdoing it. I only have, I think a 20, or 30% chance to check a second in the seven day forecast, but uh, we do have chance for freezing rain, uh, sleet, uh, snow, all of it. So again, that's Saturday into Sunday. Sunday seems okay, right? Well, here comes Monday. Let's just sit back and watch and cry. All right, as we take a look at your seven day forecast today, again, enjoy filling your face while you can because as we get through the week, temperatures just drop. We have a 40% chance of rain tomorrow, uh, but you saw it's very scattered, very light, very sporadic. As we head through Wednesday, uh, rain chances primarily in the evening overnight into Thursday. Thursday is when we have a bulk of our rain chances at 70% during the day. I said 20 because it drops off in the evening, but that's when we could see the freezing rain, the snow, the sleet, uh, regular rain, all of it, but temperatures down lows of 24. Partly cloudy on Friday. Saturday, you have a 20, see it's only 20%, but you saw that model showed a lot more, but um, again, 16 for your low. And Sunday, I said it's just so terrible because at this point we're start starting to talk about single digit feel likes and maybe even negative number of feel likes. Um, but those again are very long range models. So uh, I don't want you to freak out yet as we head a little bit closer, especially um, tomorrow we'll have a better idea about Thursday and, and so on and so forth. So we'll keep an eye on it, of course, very closely for you. As far as your roadways, uh